Hey, how's it going? It is Thanksgiving time, and this video we are going to make a sweet potato pie. But not like that. We're just gonna we're gonna make a homemade one. I've never done it before, and uh, hopefully it'll go good. Oh, hey! So we are here to make a beautiful sweet potato pie for Thanksgiving. I have never made my own homemade pie crust. I have never made my own sweet potato pie filling. I have never made a sweet potato pie, so wish me luck. So the first step in this video, uh, in this recipe, I should say, is to make the pie crust. But then it also says to make the filling, you need to bake sweet potatoes at 400 degrees um, for like an hour and a half. So. And then you have to wait for them to cool down so you can take the skins off. And then you have to wait for that to cool down so you can puree it. So I'm gonna start the filling first before we start the pie crust. So I'm gonna take these, put them in the oven, 400 degrees. Um, it says 40 minutes to 90 minutes until they're soft. So we're gonna start with 40 minutes. Time to make some crust. We need to in a food processor and all I have is this. It's, it's basically a food processor. It does the same thing. It's not as fancy. I love it. We're gonna combine flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. And then, you know, give it a couple taps to combine it. And then we need to cut our butter into cubes and shortening into cubes and then add it to said food processor. And then we need to pulse our mixture until it resembles a coarse meal. After that, we're gonna dump our mixture into a large bowl. Here's a large bowl. So I'm gonna speed that up because otherwise it's gonna take forever. Now that our pie crust is formed and in the fridge cooling, we're gonna take all the skins off these potatoes. Let's see, what do we need for the filling? Sweet potatoes, whole milk, melted butter, large eggs, light brown sugar, salt, brown nutmeg, and the zest of one orange. So we're gonna take all those ingredients after we scoop all these out, mix it all together in the food processor and hopefully it won't be too much longer until our pie crust is ready to roll out.
we're supposed to take our chill dough and roll it out onto a floured surface. It says that we need to make it slightly larger than our pie pan. Um, and then we need to put the filling in it right before we bake it. <gasps> oh no, 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 don't be like that. <gasps> stop, stop whipping. Quit it. Quit it. <gasps> stop it. This is a shit show. No, quit. Please, please work. Don't break. Oh, son of a. Please. Okay. Yay! Okay. No. There we go. Well, you want to make that your dough fall into place. That's what I've heard. So if you press it, it makes it too thin. Whew. Let's collect our thoughts. Let's collect our thoughts on this hot mess happening right here. This is baked for about 20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna try to take all of this out here. And hopefully no rice will end up in our pie crust. Come on. Oh. Uh, one. One did. So now we're going to poke the crust. And then we're going to fill it with the sweet potato pie mixture. I don't want to fill all the way up because I know it's going to raise a little bit. And I know I have a little bit more filling than I need. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna bake it for um I'm gonna start with 40 minutes. Well I'll start with 30 minutes and uh, then we'll try it. We want to make sure it's still jiggly in the middle when it's done that way it doesn't crack open just like a pumpkin pie. So I'm going to put a little bit of foil around the edge so this, I can't say beautiful crust, so this um, interesting crust does not get burnt. So we're going to put foil around the edge, put it back in the oven, and we're going to check it in about half an hour or so. Just a little much orange in it, but I like it. Other than that, if I can eat more of it, I approve.